And then I see a six foot tall guy with a menacing look come up to me and say, Subject 10392 clear text Trevor Hills. You are violating the Burbank Act. Title II, Section 11. Unauthorized exit attempt from an enclosed or restricted area. No, 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 no. You are no, also Trevor. violating Get the, the hell Burbank out of there Act. now. There's no use. I can't. Listen, if you can't move forward, then go back. But you gotta move now. I can't. Trevor, do what I say, coño. 10392. Stay right where you are. Subject 10392 is attempting escape. Initiate interception protocol. Interceptors, get the subjects now! I couldn't believe it. Until then, interceptors were an urban legend. A high tech security force in Arcadia with a really cool sci fi code name. It all started with the infamous leaked Arcadia 6 picture, you know? That one that Walton Media has always denied to be true. The guy in the back was believed to be an interceptor. Most people just referred to him as the Tackleberry. Because he looked like that guy from the Police Academy movies. You know, helmet, sunglasses, leather jacket, and all that. Not to us. Anyway, I had worked in Walton Media for eight years, and I never saw or heard a thing about those guys. As I said, it was just an urban legend. Until now. Because the Interceptors were real. And they really looked like Tackleberry. And they were chasing Trevor, who now had to run a 100-meter dash while feeling like complete shit. Not oh, shit. And 392! Stop running! Um, Angela! Angela! What? I'm feeling better! Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling better! Um, That's good news, but save your breath No! Right oh, shit. Haben die den Test person irgendwas eingepflanzt? Interceptors on the tail of subject 10392! Damit die nicht rausgehen können. Why do, why do these guys keep calling me? It's 10-3. It's 10-3 something. It's your citizen ID. My what? This is no time for questions, damn it. Just run. Oh, shit. We got a problem, Leute. <gasps> shit, 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 shit. That man, Trevor, now. Oh, shit. I had to go to the spring müssen. Fuck. Yeah. Go, 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 go! Where do I go? Where do I go? Egal, wohin! Hauptsache weg von hier! Go back to the station! Back to the station! Are you crazy? Just do what I'm telling you! Shit, 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 shit. Interceptors, maintain pursuit! Okay, wir haben einen großen Vorsprung. Sieht gut aus. Jump! Subject is heading back to the station. Interceptor Unit B, proceed. Shit, they're coming from the escalators. Hey! I see the subject. Proceeding to intercept. Junge, Junge, Junge! No! Okay. Hey, is that schwierig, hin and her to switch, to switch? Oh shit! And surrender. Oh fuck. Hey, that is schwierig. Multitasking. Let man das. Stop this nonsense and oh, surrender. Back, 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 now. Back, back. Come on. Fuck, 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 fuck. Junge, Junge, Junge. Was machen wir hier bloß? Niemals! Niemals kickt er mich. Ja, sie haben mich schon tausendmal bekommen, aber abgesehen davon, niemals! Fuck, 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 er kommt näher. Oh, 
Oh shit! Ja, ich hasse es auch! Oh fuck! Oh, oh, oh shit! Wir haben es geschafft, wir sind durch die Station. Oder über die Station. Shit. What just happened back there, Angela? I, I couldn't move with that noise. I don't know, man. I wasn't expecting that. I, you, you gotta hide for a while until I come up with something. I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Look, I have an idea, Angela. Blue Fountain Mall is right there. I used to spend a lot of time in there when I was a kid. Mall? Are you sure that that's a? Looks like I don't have much of a choice anyway. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. Junge, 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 was war das denn bitte gerade? Crazy. Hey, help me with that door, Angela, would you? Yeah, just a second. What the? Look down. Trevor, Access to all terminals is strictly computer. prohibited. I, I don't know what, uh... Oh, shit. Oh. On Earth, what? Who are you talking to? Lockdown. Really? Oh, what happened? Ooh, that's bad. Okay, I'll see you in the lobby then. Yeah, I'll, they'll tell us how to proceed. <laughs> Makes it good. I, to go. I gotta find another place where I can connect and, and. Don't worry, Angela. Take your time. I'll be safe in the Skyrocket Arcade. Wait, wait, wait. You plan to hide inside an arcade? Not inside the arcade. They have a covered sit-down Spectrex cabinet there. That's where I plan to hide. I can play that thing for hours on just one quarter. Whatever suits you, man. I'm buying whatever you got right now. No problem. Hm. Ob das gut gehen wird, glaube ich eher nicht. Spectrex. I'm at the Spectrex cabinet. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine in here. Okay, Trevor, just stay inside the cabinet until I'm out of here. I'll be back as soon as I... Hey, Kendra, what's up? <laughs> this is a message for all Walton Media employees. Due to an unexpected breach of security, we have proceeded to activate the lockdown protocol. When called by your last name, please come immediately to the building entrance for all your digital devices to be scanned for security reasons. Thank Can you. you believe it? Yeah, someone's escaping from Arcadia. That's, that's really crazy. And an insider is helping him, one of us. They get the chance to work for Walton Media in the greatest achievement that has ever happened in entertainment. And they want to boycott it because why? Yeah, yeah, right. I mean, the other things Walton did are okay, but between you and me, Angela, black and white movies, cartoons for kids, but American Arcadia? There is nothing like it. Others have tried to replicate it to create something like this. They got reality shows instead. But this is no reality show, Angela. American Arcadia is the most advanced sociological experiment ever conducted. It has changed the way we perceive society and even... <laughs> is everything okay? Huh? Uh, yes, it's... I really have to get going, Kendra. I hope everything is solved by tomorrow morning. You know, right? Okay, see ya. Dios, cállate la boca ya. She was repeating the same corporate bullshit she gave me on the first day on the 21st floor. Okay, preserve my admin permissions. Preserve my admin permissions. Jesus H. Christ, how am I gonna do that? All cloud services will be monitored, so I can't upload it to the cloud. Okay, uh, what else then? Come on, come on, come on, Angela, think. You gotta come up with something. And suddenly, that Architects of Tomorrow episode just pops into my head. Steganography, a word that comes from combining the Greek term steganos, which means covered or hidden, and graphos, which means writing. Let's take a look at this image behind me. You probably won't distinguish anything, but if we see the image through a red lens, Everything in it suddenly makes sense. And that's what steganography basically is. 
concealing a message within another message, or, as we've just seen, an image in another image. There are many examples of how to hide a code in an image, a text, or even a song. Who knows? Maybe this song has a secret message encoded in it, too. Because, as you can see, steganography is science. And as we know, science always finds a way. If you have a secret and don't want to reveal it, steganography can be used to conceal it. And that's the lesson we've learned today. Because science always finds a way. I got it. I need to convert my admin permissions into hexadecimal code and then hide it in a non-digital source. A sequence of images. Hmm. Any VHS tape will do the trick. Hmm, wie cool war das denn bitte gerade? <laughs> Hat er was? Learning science. How is it possible for a media company to do these awful corporate videos? Mit Lieden. Okay, wir brauchen eine VHS-Kassette. Wahrscheinlich wissen das viele gar nicht mehr, was das überhaupt ist. Das sind eigentlich DVDs, nur viel größer und älter, die auf einem Magnetband abgespielt wurden. Gordon Sabat, or Sabat, I don't know how to pronounce that. Come to the lobby exit. Lockdown. Ja, Recording Studio hört sich gut an. Da finden wir sicherlich eine Kassette. Dann mal straight da hinein. Bevor sie uns aufrufen, sonst haben wir ein Problem. Studio. Elevator lobby exit. Huh. There must be a way to enter the editing room from the other side. Door studio. This is the video editing room. I gotta get in there to encrypt my cell phone data. Geht wahrscheinlich nicht. Nee, Zugriff verweigert. The first two letters in our ID indicate our first and last names. Mine is AS. They're oh. calling the S's now. EB21 bloody blah must be long gone for sure. Whoa, ZW. <laughs> I bet this guy will be the last to exit the building. Storage. ZW. Oh no, but then we have to be very früh dran. Maybe he's in the cafeteria, waiting to be called. Hmm. Ah, da müssen wir. Uh, who is this guy? I barely know any employees on the first floor. It doesn't matter anyway. This guy's last name begins with a D. I'm sure he's not in the building anymore. Da müssen wir sicher sein Telefon stellen und ich glaube, ich habe es ja auch schon gesehen. Z W Z W. Wie sah er aus? Eine Brille, rote Haare, blauer Trenchcoat. Good, good. Now I need to find Zeus Washington, Zeke Wasabi, or whatever this guy is, and clone his ID. Fernando Salcedo. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. Da drüben. Ich hab's doch gesagt, das ist sein Handy. Denn das ist mir schon aufgefallen. Let me clone your ID real quick. And it's done. Mm. I'm not proud about doing this to Walt's immediate co-worker, but... I really needed your credentials, Zazu, Waluigi. <laughs> Waluigi, what? Tiffany Schneider, come to the lobby exit. Hier sind lustige Anspielungen mit drin. Waluigi. Das finde ich nice. Find ich nice. Und so einfach geht's. So. How do I get to the video room? Whoever's in charge of keeping this area clear is doing an awful job. 
Mm, so ein bisschen. Jesus, looks like a damn maze, and I hate mazes. Yeah. Noon. So a bit in labyrinth. Seymour. Seymour. Where do I go Seymour, now? Seymour. Seymour. Very funny. Who's a wise ass? What? Seymour. Seymour. Oh, I'm. Um, I'm sorry. I. Oh, I hope this works. I hate squeezing into tight spaces. Rakim Sharp, come to the lobby exit. This is a small recording studio for AA short stories and things like that. Not for the live feeds, of course. Lady Vivian would never lower herself to come down from her spire penthouse to record in here. Okay. Gibt wahrscheinlich nichts Spannendes hier zu sehen für uns. Weil wir unbedingt ins Editing Studio müssen. Okay, this Comet VHS will do the trick. Mira, está en español y todo. No mayor de Selsko, el perro del espacio. Gut, ich lese das jetzt mal nicht vor, denn ich verstehe eh nichts. Aber dann können wir das einfach überspielen. Wahrscheinlich. Mal schauen. So, let's get down to business. The blue screen shows the Comet Tape digital data. And the large monitor displays the admin permissions on my cell phone, which I need to hide. So, I need to find the matching cell strings on both screens, and then run a macro to hide my data inside the VHS tape. Was? Klicke auf eine Zelle, ziehe sie zum Auswählen, loslassen, wähle Strings, von zwei, drei oder vier Zellen aus. Was? Ach so. Hä? Hä? Ina Sokolova. Please exit through the lobby door. Ah, okay, I see. Okay, ich hab's verstanden. Eins F D fünf FB 17 wie 47 CB 31 C9 31 gibt's gar nicht. Gar nicht. Mhm. Doch so gibt's 31. Yes, okay. Yes, 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 I got it. Now run a macro to automatize the process and encrypt all my data into the VHS tape. Now I can totally wipe everything for myself. See you at home, admin permission. <laughs> Is she following me or what? What a pain in the ass. What are you doing in here, Angela? Oh, yes, Kendra. Nothing, I'm leaving. And what are you carrying there? Angela Solano, please. We're waiting for you in the lobby exit. Oh, sorry, they're calling me. I have to go. Talk to you later, okay? Bye! 
Ich hoffe, sie wird nichts raus. Angela Solano, please. Ja, 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 ich komme ja schon. Hey, Angela, ¿qué pasó? What took you so long? Oh, I had to finish something, Joe. Es mi turno, ¿verdad? Bueno, claro que es tu turno. I called you twice. Put your phone in there and just go home, for Christ's sake. Okay, looks like you're good to go, Angela. Everything is clean. Hey, pero, what's up with the VHS tape, eh? And you have all those comet shorts on the W Max platforms. Ah, well, doblaje puertorriqueño original. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's right. I forgot they redubbed it. A rights dispute with the voice actor, wasn't it? Yes. Wow, yeah, that's right, Joe. <laughs> bueno, te veo el lunes, ¿sí? Of course. Get some rest and see you next Monday, Angela. And then I went home to have a heart attack, which took me a while since I lived in the far side of Walton employee housing facilities. In fact, I thought about moving closer to the dome for the whole Trevor operation. But come to think of it, living so far away saved me a lot of trouble later. But I digress. The thing is, I finally got to my apartment. 